Hey folks, it's Jim. I thought I'd do this video. Uh, you can see we've got 99% charge on the unit and we're doing 165 watts, 160 to 65 watts in from solar and we're burning 913 watts making a pot of coffee. So I thought I would do this uh, video real quick to see uh, if I cook in the mornings and make coffee and there's sunshine, uh, you know, how much and how quick I can replace the solar. So I started at 99% and I don't eat generally till about 10 anyway, but I do make coffee early. And this seems to burn six to uh, 8% of the battery uh, making a pot of coffee. So we'll see, you can see we've already dropped to 98 um, on our little uh, percentage meter there. And uh, we're still getting 163, so we're charging and discharging at the same time. Uh, if you can see there, I've got two 100 watt panels laying at a really bad angle. If I dropped them, we'd probably be getting 180, about 180 watts into uh, the, the unit if I laid them flat because the sun is tracking off to our left there and uh, it's almost directly overhead. So if I laid the panels flat, we'd have a better angle and uh, just a couple other things. I'm using two lawnmowers I pulled out of the dump that I'm working on uh, repairing and uh, I thought I'd use those for solar stands. Um, uh, please don't do this at home. It's not safe. Uh, this is a test. So that is my disclaimer. Um, please read all your manuals and follow the instructions for safety. Those are my disclaimers. Okay, but we have 200 watt uh, solar pan or 200 watts of solar to 100 watt panels running in series, which I'm going to turn into my solar suitcase and pack it on my car carrier on the back of the Prius when I go cross country and off into BLM land for deep camping, I will be, uh, this will be my power source. Even though I could use the Prius Prime as my power source since it is a generator, uh, I've just always wanted to uh, build my own solar suitcase. I have a couple of 100 watt 12 volt panel uh, suitcases, but I really wanted to build a nice 200 watt suitcase um, in case I convert a fan or something like that. And it just, I had these panels laying around uh, doing nothing anyway. So it's just a little project that I wanted to do. So let's look back and see what we've got going on. And we appear to be at what? 97% uh, in 911 watts out, 163 or four watts in. And uh, yeah, so you can tell, or at least the reason why I'm running this experiment is to see what it's really going to take uh, for me when I'm deep camping for a week. Because I think I can get three days out of the unit with my cooking and coffee making uh, without a charge. So my goal is to be able to go uh, three days without sun and be able to run this unit. Now my backup is to be able to charge it off of the uh, Prius itself since it is a generator, but I don't want to do that. Um, I want to make sure that I'm independent and whatnot as much as possible. But it, you can see that it does take a good charge. You can hear it. Um, there's the sound of the unit. I hope the wind's not bothering you. You can't really even hear it. It's got such a low sound, uh, very, very low, like a portable refrigerator, like I had said in my previous video. So we are doing it, and boy, I tell you, we're getting down on the coffee already. So, sorry, the screen time's out to save power. Um, so that is one of the annoyances of this unit. Uh, but not a big deal. Once you get used to it and you've run all your experiments, you're going to be glad that that screen goes out anyway to conserve power. Uh, so, you know, I give uh, EcoFlow a lot of thumbs up for all of their power conservation 
um, forethought in the design of this machine. And uh, so now we're down to 95%, as you can tell. We're still getting 165 watts in, and we're getting 911 taken out. So uh, it's a really good thing that we can charge and discharge at the same time. And, uh, and I think this is going to work out. Again, I'm running uh, two 100-watt panels in series. Uh, 20 volts open circuit per panel that gives us 40 volts open circuit so we're getting 32 to 36 volts uh, into that uh, charge controller in the unit and I got to give it very high ratings for efficiency because we're not at peak sun it's only maybe 10 o'clock in the morning right now uh, not even that 9 30 I think so the sun really isn't at peak yet and uh, we could get more power. I think I'm going to get about 180 to 190 watts out of this if they were set right. So uh, I'm really pleased with the performance of this charge controller. And it looks like we might be getting down uh, close to the end of our coffee pot here. It's starting to sound like it's getting closer to the end. And again, uh, still getting 165. We got a little bit of haze in the sky today as well. Um, we're at 94% now. So uh, that's the typical, what I found out of this machine to make a pot of coffee was between 6 and 8% drawdown to make a pot of coffee, which is really nice. That means I can make 12 pots of coffee. So at two pots a day, that's six pots that I'm going to need. And then I'm going to be uh, shorter cook times on my eggs. And, uh, and the uh, pressure cooker will use about maybe 300 watts a day to steam some vegetables or make rice or whatever. So I think I've got plenty of... Uh, power in this unit to accomplish all my needs and that's why I bought it so yeah we look like we're getting close to the end of the coffee making and we're down to 93 percent now so we're still getting 164 65 watts in very nice and uh, this thing seems to be really accurate the gauges <coughs> the meters so if you, if you enjoy playing with numbers I think you'll find this really accurate if you were to put your uh, your meters on it and test everything. Uh, they just seem to have done a really good job. I'm very impressed with EcoFlow's quality all the way around. Everything. Fit, finish, technical uh, superiority. And now our uh, output has dropped to zero. And you can hear the beeping of the coffee maker, I hope. And where there we are, still getting 163 watts in. So within one hour via the sun, I will replace the uh, energy used to make this pot of coffee. Isn't that nice? Off of a simple 200 watt setup, if you do 300 watts, this will be replaced in no time, right? Maybe uh, 40 minutes. So. Uh, I'm really liking that. This is very efficient all the way around. It's just a really efficient unit. Um, and it's giving us a five hour uh, uh, sign there to say that that's how long we could we could do it. But um, that'll keep ticking back up because we have no power draw on it right now. And the meter will jump up uh, from 93 to 94 here in a second. And that'll be about when I'm done uh, with this video. I hope that, uh, you know, this has been somewhat helpful. If you were thinking about getting one of these again, I got this at uh, right at $1,000. It was $400 off or $300 off plus a 8% coupon from Amazon. So it was $1,100, $1099, plus an 8% coupon, uh, which then dropped it 
with tax to $1,020. And I think that was a really good buy for a power station as capable of, as this. So um, I don't know if you're considering a power station. I like Blue Eddy for its longevity since it uses the LiPo 4 and 3 technology in the batteries. So they're, But they're just so much heavier. And since this was going to be more of a camping unit, I wanted it as light as possible. So I hope this has been uh, somewhat helpful and informative. Again, uh, two 100 watt panels running in series at uh, 40 volts open circuit, which then led to probably 32 to 34 uh, into the charge controller. And that seems to be a really efficient charge range for this unit. Um, and again, it makes the, the coffee without even a strain. And you notice, I'm running, we're getting 160 watts in, no fan, okay? This thing runs very efficient. It does not waste energy. That's the other thing I love about it. The fans aren't running all the time uh, unless it's working hard to cool itself. So I really appreciate, appreciate that about this unit as well. Um, anyway, I hope you're all doing well. hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, it was a bit long, but hey, we made a pot of coffee. And we tested our output and input at the same time, see what was going on. And I'm going to finish charging this unit back up and put everything away. Test complete. Hope you're all doing well. Hope life's treating you good. EcoFlow Pro 1300. So far, folks, I think it's an outstanding unit. Um, and for me and my uh, trips that I have planned, uh, worth every penny. Jim out.